This is James Elder for Apple TV in association with Matt Lynch, Jim Marbauer with me. Gil's in Brixton today with me. I've got undefeated heavyweight Dillian the White, aka the Body Snatcher. How are you? I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. Just to say, getting back into, into the swing of things, loosening up my body, rehabbing my shoulder, making it strong so I can, so can tee off on December the 12th. Everything's gearing up for December the 12th. How are you finding your camp so far? Camp so far is okay, you know what I mean? Just, you know, just couple of runs, start strengthening stuff, start start moving again, get my legs going, start strengthening up on my legs, my arms, my shoulder. Obviously, my shoulder, I had a problem with it, but it seems to have started now. I've been having physio and stuff, so, you know, just start strengthening back, that back up, you know, and then just, you know, I feel good, man. I'm happy. I know I'm fighting in advance. I have time to get ready, you know, and so I'm, I'm easy, man. I mean, the build-up for this has obviously started. It started with the undercard yourself on um, the undercard of Anthony Joshua v Gary Cornish. H looking at that now, how do you assess that sort of situation? Listen, I was there. I was there, I was on the undercard, but if it wasn't for me, that press conference would have sucked. Now, Anthony Joshua and Gary Cornish is boring. I don't know which one's more boring. Imagine Anthony Joshua, Tom Dallas. Gary Carnish and David Price. How did David Price and Tom Dallas get brought in? Because this? these are some of the most boringest guys in the division. So I'm saying, imagine all them guys in a press conference at once. I think people start shooting themselves. Yeah. I've got to say, I felt a bit sorry for Gary Cornish in the press conference. He's just sitting in between you and Joshua. You're both sort of giving it to him, you in particular. And he didn't know where to look, did he? I felt a bit sorry for him, to be honest. It, you know, um, obviously, Gary has been to fight me before. And he pulled up fight me to take the Anthony Joshua fight for money, which is understandable, obviously. You know, we're in the sport to pay our bills, you know what I mean? And, and look after our family, but, you know, it's a little bit annoying that he done that, because, you know, that could have been me that got a first round knockout over him, but, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So, you know, listen, it, 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 it's, it's, um, it's sports, and if you can't take the heat, then, um, you know, you're not in the right sports. Because people, people will say stuff negative and positive stuff you know it's just what you believe and how strong your mind is and your mentality you know yeah. how do you assess your performance against Brian Miller when your last fight captured WBC international silver title how do you assess that performance I'll say performance as a C because um you know I went into that fight listen I'm not justifying myself whatever it wasn't my best performance but I did I did something I did something new, you know what I mean? I stayed in the pocket with a shot, man. And I'll punch him and I'll, I'll, I'll land him in, in the pocket. I caught him and knock him out. You know, at the end of the day, I picked up a heavy injury in training camp. I got advice not to fight, but listen, you know me, man. I, you know, I, I'm a minute to chill the fans, so I just showed up and just fought. You know, I believed in myself I wasn't a win either way anyway. So, you know, I believed that going into any fight. I mean, you've got a lot of fans. We've seen your Twitter interactions growing higher and higher as we get closer to the fight. but. What's the feedback been like from the Anthony Joshua fans and what, what sort of tweets and messages do you get from them? The usual people saying, oh, you're getting sparked in a round, you're getting sparked in five, you're getting sparked in eight, Anthony Joshua's going to... But that's cool, though, because I don't... I don't listen, if all the fans was on my side and were saying, oh, you're going to win, you're going to win, then that would make for a good fight, is it? You know, the good thing is this part, the fight seems to be splitting the country, whether it's, it's even or whether it's, it's three quarters or whatever, I don't know. But it's definitely straight to the country and, and listen, now they say any publicity is good publicity. As long as people is mentioning my name and people is paying to come and see us fight, then you know, what can I say? I am I'm, I'm I'm making um um British history, you know what I mean, you know, um I I've I've been back in the game for two for ten months and look what I've achieved in, in the ten months I've been back. Mm -hmm. You know, seven fights in ten months I know I'm about to be um Part one of the main one of the main um, fighters in one of the biggest British um, fights in, in heavyweight fights in years. So what more can I ask for? Do you feel you have to stop Anthony Joshua to get the victory? Are you confident if it goes to points and you'll be you'll be awarded the result? Well, I'll be a fool to think that, but I'm hoping that the, and the night the judges and, and and the commission will be fair. And if it goes to points, they they, they, they give a fair decision. You know, what I mean, we're both British. You know, and we're both fighting for the British heavyweight title. So obviously, I know that he'll be the favourite going into the fight. I ain't silly. But I, that's cool. I'm cool with that. You know, what I mean, you know, no, you know, I perform well under pressure. So, who would you say has been Anthony Joshua's best win so far in his career? If you like, and if I can ask you the same on the flip side of your career so far, dude. all of his fights have been good win. You know, what I mean, listen, let's be honest. All of his fights have been good win. Obviously, he's fought a lot of um, old men and a lot of cans. Like, and I've fought a lot of cans, but he's fought a lot of old guys that's passed it. But the thing is. The difference between me and him is the Sky is obviously put a lot into him and building him up and getting him out there to the public and stuff. So, 
a while I've done it the other way, gone on the radar and just, you know, pick up my wins and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, you know, Sky has just made him more than what he is. Don't get me wrong, the guy's a good fighter, he's a, he's a strong fighter and all of that, but, you know, same, he, he does nothing that I can't do, you know what I mean? I'm just as strong as him, I'm just as quick as him, I'm just, I, I, if anything, I've mean, I got a better boxing brain than him and I can do stuff that he can't do. You know what I mean? If, if his stuff ain't, ain't at long range, he can't do anything, but I can fight long range and short range. As I proved throughout my career, I can fight all star, you know what I mean? I can fight southpaw as well as alpha ducks. I can fight um, close range, long range. So, you know, listen, it, 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 it's a pick it's a pick as you choose fight, you know what I mean? Obviously, some people's gonna pick him, some people's gonna pick me, but you know what I mean? All that matters is what happened in December. You seem to you seem to row each other a little bit in the press conference. I mean, is that a little bit of what we can expect come fight week? Is it going to be an explosive week, though? Listen, it's going to be explosive up until the fight and possibly even after the fight. But you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. You know, what I mean, listen, I don't like him. He tried he tried to make sly remarks and try to act like he's he's bit bigger and better than people. You know, and I don't like people like that. I don't like people like that. And with me. If it's on the street and somebody is, you know, it'd be a different story. If, if this was on the street, I'd, I'd have smashed him up a long time ago. And he knows it as well. He, he knows it. That's why, you know what I mean? That's why he was given at the beginning at, at the weigh-in, and then he stood be, behind his securities, you know? But listen, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. You know, I, I back up what, what, what I say in it. If I say I don't like you, I don't like you. I'm not going to be shaking his hand and be like, oh, yeah, it's hype for the fight. No, I don't like him. You know what I mean? He, you know, and it, if anyone had a problem with him on the street, I would have banged him out a long time ago. It wouldn't have been all this talking and all this. But listen, it is what it is, man. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just going to focus on my training and get ready and come December and just give the fans a good fight and knock him out. What do you make of his comments that you was fighting on his undercard on the Cornish event? He's talking... Let me do something. Let me break something down for the people who don't know. If it wasn't for me, this fight would not be happening. Eddie Earnhardt and Anthony Joshua about eight months ago what do you think of the Dylan White fight? And this is Eddie Earn's exact words. Anthony Joshua said, oh, Eddie, are you sure? I don't think it's a big fight. Oh, you think it will sell? And, and Eddie had to convince him it's a big fight. Listen, you're an Olympic gold medalist. When you fight in journeyman, it's a big fight. So if you're fighting another one, if you fight for the British title, why would it be a big fight? And furthermore, I am the manager challenge for the British title. He's not the manager challenger. So if it wasn't for me, this... Actually right. you yeah, are the I am the manager challenger. That's if you vacated... Um, because you have to fight Vladimir, it's for me to fight. So what I'm saying is, if people don't understand, people think, oh, I'm chasing the, you know, I'm chasing. No, Joshua didn't want this fight. I'm the one that made this fight happen. You know what I mean? I'm the one that made, I'm the one that, that done all the work for this fight. Ask is at the end. Klitschko Fury postponement. There's no date for Klitschko to face Fury. If it was put to you of having Klitschko Fury on 12th of December as a massive heavyweight card, I mean, you, you share the same trainer is Fishco and Jonathan Banks. Yeah. How would you feel about that? Oh, that, 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 that'd, be, that'd be good. That'd be good. We have co event. That, 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 that'd be good. Listen, that, that'd be excellent. I, I don't mind that, you know what I mean? I don't mind that, but um, you know, they, I'm sure they can make the fight for some kind of eliminator for, for at least one of um, Vladimir's belt or something. The winner gets to, to move into that direction or fight the anti world or whatever, you know what I mean? So it'd be good. It'd be um, four good heavyweights on, 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 on the same card. When, when the last time you see that four good quality heavyweight on the same card, that, that'd be massive. Mm. That'd be massive. But uh, hopefully Eddie would have to move it to Wembley, I think, if that happened. Would you be up for that, though? I'll definitely be up for that. I'll definitely yeah. be up for that. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't care. The more people watch a fight and see me, the better it is for, for me. You know, the bigger the fight becomes. Give me a prediction for your fight against Anthony Joshua. What's, what do you believe is going to happen in your heart? I'm going to win in brutal fashion. Whether it's knock out or I beat him down to the floor or I brawl with him or I outbox him, I'm going to win. Whatever it takes, I will win. I, I, I'm a winner and I'll find a way. I'll just find a way to get myself a situation and to come out on top. Everything that happened to me in life, I'll just try my best. I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very, very strong, strong mentally and physically. Very, very strong. Listen, we all can't wait for December 12th. It's a fantastic fight. Well done to you both for getting it on, and I said I can't, I can't wait to get involved in fight. Yeah, it's a fantastic fight. It's been a little bit difficult getting a fight to make. The fight was meant to be made like months and months ago, but obviously certain people was nervous about making the fight before a certain fight happened, you know. So it's taken a long time, and then I got injured, and they was trying to force me into taking the fight while my hand was broke. So I, I was like, no, no, I ain't taking no fight with no broken hand. I'm not stupid. I'm, you know what I mean. So I bided my time. I had my warm up fights. My hands healed, 
and I'm, I'm ready to rock, you know what I mean? I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to, to do damage and, and create havoc. Listen, Dylan, thanks for giving RFTV a bit of time today. We do appreciate that, mate. And we'll catch you again real soon. Thanks, man. I was a, I was a problem. This is Dylan Wet for AFL TV signing up. MG in my bay. Is that it? That's it. Okay, That's it. here you go. <laughs>